morning, Sheboygan, and welcome to the 4th of July Parade. Alongside the coach, Chris Wright, I'm <laughs> Mike Martin, and uh, we're ready to bring you one of the big events in Sheboygan for uh, the year, actually. This is a big deal. It's an absolutely big deal, and I say this every year. I, when I first moved to Sheboygan, this was something that was circled and invited friends and family to come down here. My family still comes down here from an aunt who's well in her 80s to uh, now uh, cousins that are uh, two years old. So he, my family, it's always been a big thing, but the whole city comes out for the parade and let's just hope the weather stays nice at least till uh, the parade gets done. So far, we've got a uh, beautiful morning, a little bit of clouds once in a while, which uh, keeps it from getting too hot. You know, talking about relatives being here right alongside <laughs> us is my wife and mother-in-law who's uh, 97 years old. 97 years young, I should say. <laughs> uh, also want to mention uh, the team today. Our director is Scott Mailoff. He's the director of the uh, station also. Uh, cameraman behind uh, that camera is Greg Zablocki. Up on top, we have Eric Wiesman. Uh, of course, we mentioned you, Chris, and myself, Mike Martin, and uh, we're really looking forward to bringing you this parade. We're also going to throw in some uh, other information about the events happening today. Chris, you mentioned you were at the uh, coolest cardiology freedom run. Yes, I was there right away this morning. There was over 200 runners and walkers. It's a two-mile event that takes place right across the street from the YMCA, and then there's a five-mile run, and I know the five-mile run was won by a Sheboygan Lutheran uh, alumni, I guess, Sean Heisenstein. Uh, he beat the field by well over a minute in that five <laughs> mile, maybe that's, a minute and a half. That's a big and, uh, gap. Yeah, and it's very well attended. They had walkers with dogs, and uh, it's just a nice way to kick things off. I think they used to be the uh, Dr. Opal event, and, uh, uh, and, it's, been. and it's still the same, basically, event. But, you know, it's a real nice way to start the, the weekend. Last night they had the Venetian uh, Yacht Club light thing. I was down there yesterday, very well attended for that. And of course, there's a, a variety of things today following the parade, uh, which leads up, of course, to the fireworks tonight. Another thing that's uh, happening before the parade, it started at 8 o'clock this morning at the uh, Northside Beach, was the uh, King of the Beach Volleyball Tournament. And that runs until uh, it's done, which I would think is probably pretty close to noon. So if you're looking for something to do, the run is over, yep. you're too late for that, but you still could get down there and watch the uh, beach volleyball. Parade will be starting any minute now. We're waiting for it to come down our way. Uh, we are sitting right next to the judges table and uh, they give grades to all the different floats and uh, displays that go on and then they have awards for that. And uh, we look forward to uh, you know seeing the parade and See what happens. You know any of those judges? Yeah, Chris? Hans isn't the uh, Han uh, Scott Hansen from Howard's Grove sitting there at the end. Okay. And I know Dave Huffman there is kind of organizing that of Huffman Cleaners, uh, uh, also known as the Brat Guy when uh, that comes up. So I'm wondering if there's like I think there's a Brat Trot too. Isn't there a fun run for that? Uh, not I mean, today, not according to my lineup But I lineup mean for uh, the brat days, I think. Oh, you know what, that is Tricky Trot, Thanksgiving okay. Day. Okay, I know uh, I should tell uh, Dominic, who uh, kind of my stepson kind of uh, We can hear it coming down the street, and we can see it now. The parade has started. And uh, number one, we're going to wait a little bit because they're a little bit down the road, but uh, on a little side note, Chris. <laughs> Everybody knows who John Adams was. Second president. He refused to celebrate Independence Day on the 4th of July. Really? He said it was signed on July 2nd, and that's when we should celebrate it. Now, I remember last year in some of our notes, we had talked about the 4th versus the 2nd, but. Do you know that John Adams died on July 4th? Who else? What other president? Thomas Jefferson. Thomas uh, Jefferson. Yeah, I teach right. that to my students. You just took number two <laughs> <laughs> on the list of eight. I teach that to my students. Good. <laughs> Do they learn it? <laughs> They're oh. taught it. Yeah. All right, coming down the street, Greg turned his camera around. You saw the shot from uh, Eric's camera up on top. But uh, leading off the parade, we have the Sheboygan Police Department and Honor Guard of the Sheriff's Department. And uh, 
It's your welcome to the 2019 Independence Day Parade. And since it's the American flag, we're gonna stand up and salute our flag. Joe Summers bagpiper. Joe Summers has been playing bagpipes since he was nine years old. He was inspired to begin playing after hearing a park ranger play them at dusk while camping out west. Next up, you see our uh, current mayor, Mike Vandersteen, and members of the Common Council. And of course, they wish everyone a happy Independence Day. There you see uh, Mayor Vandersteen in this older vehicle. That's a classic. Yeah, I would figure you would know that more than me, Marty. I know that it's a classic. <laughs> <laughs> and then following along, the mayor is uh, the common council. A lot of members. Oh, you know what I forgot to bring? My plastic bag for all the goodies. <laughs> Council already working on the judges trying to get their votes by giving the... Hey, what about the TV guys? <laughs> One of my students. Jim Boren, driving that uh, Corvette. It's nice that they're all here supporting the uh, parade and their city. Whoa, nice throw, kid. They have There's over Trey uh, Mitchell. 60, who is that? That's Trey Mitchell, he's an alderman here too. Okay. Look this up over, they have 86 different units uh, in this year's parade. So we have 82 to go, is that what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean it that way, <laughs> but yeah. Boy, there's lots of people here, Marty. It was, I came down at eight o'clock uh, to help out and uh, there were a lot of people had their uh, spaces all marked off and there were people along the street of course, a lot more now that the parade has started, but you're right, this is a big event for Sheboygan. Nice to get the community out and uh, have a nice day for it. I think the next big one would be uh, the Broad Days, huh? Yep, jo uh, Judge Tory here. I teach her, her daughter taught her son. Coming down the street, we have Wisconsin Bank and Trust. Uh, Wisconsin Bank and Trust are the 2019 sponsors of the Independence Day Parade. WBT has partnered with the Sheboygan North High Drumline to kick off this year's parade. This uh, student-led organization provides a unique and exciting entertainment for the community. And if you want to hear them some more, go to some North High sporting events because they're out there playing. Yeah, the North High Drumline, obviously a student-led ensemble. The students write and select their own music, design their own routines, teach music to the uh, entire drumline. And look at how populated it is now. They travel all over the state performing for a variety of schools and other organizations. Their lively performances each and every time. And here they go right in front of us. School does not stop for the drum line. All righty. I don't think they're playing for us, Chris. I think it's for the judges. <laughs>
Outstanding work, Marty. They are very good. And more representatives from Wisconsin Bank and Trust. Next up, we have the City of Sheboygan Fire Department. The City of Sheboygan Fire Department wishes everyone a very safe Independence Day. Get your smoke alarm and make sure it has a good battery. So I get the odds and the odds is too. <laughs> Fire department has some impressive equipment, Chris. Yeah, they do. I got a question for you. What is the protocol when you're watching a parade? I know you should stand for the first American flag. Do you need to stand for each of the other I, ones too? I have no idea. I don't know that protocol. Okay. Me either. You would think on a 4th of July parade, there'll be a lot of flags. Right, <laughs> right. This is a big fire truck. We don't have any statistics in front of us, but I know that uh, normally now when there's like a car accident or something, the fire department comes out, it's like automatic, not just the police department or an ambulance if somebody got hurt. So their uh, number of calls or respond to calls is uh, up over the last few years because they've changed their uh, way of doing things. Next we have uh, Samaritan's Hand Incorporated. Samaritan's Hand is a local faith-based nonprofit drug and alcohol outpatient clinic, which also has a men's sober house in town. Stop, town, stop down to Rotary Riverview Park after, to, after the parade to support their brat fry. So if you're looking for lunch, Chris, there you, there go. you go. <laughs> Let's get in front of the camera. <laughs> and the judges, right? Yeah. Following them comes Festival Foods. F Festival Foods is a family-owned company throughout Wisconsin since 1946. 32 stores now are uh, located in our uh, state. They have state-of-the-art supermarkets and employs more than 7,500 employees. Festival Foods is one of the sponsors for tonight's fireworks, which of course takes place approximately 9.30. There's another uh, entity that's very involved in, uh, in our community, very much helping so. to sponsor different events. Shoreline Metro, welcome to Shoreline Metro, your destination for affordable, dependable, safe, and courteous transportation in the Sheboygan Metro area. At Shoreline Metro, we are more than a transportation option, we are a way of life. Climb aboard today. And here comes the uh, Shoreline Metro trolley. They'll be following the, the Brett's water toy. bottles. <laughs> Lots of water bottles by festival today. A lot of that candy's not making its way to I the I was curb. just going to say, <laughs> and not going to make it to, to uh, the beach either at this rate. 
Here's that trolley that Marty mentioned. That's a pretty classy way to travel, Chris. There you go. All right, following uh, the Shoreline Metro comes Meyer. This is a 1936 Chevy Stake race truck right behind the uh, Shoreline there. You can see it coming there with Meyer. And uh, it is the replica of the first truck that was used by Hendrick and Fred Meyer to transport groceries to their first store in Greenville, Michigan. This restored truck that's uh, coming up here uh, was presented to Fred on his 75th birthday. The Grand Rapids based retailer operates over 245 super centers and proud now to serve here in Sheboygan and it basically took over the old uh, mall. And there you see they, that truck. Uh, Came out firing, Chris. They're a major sponsor of the Sheboygan A's, yep. and uh, it's nice to see. You're welcome. It's quite a truck, too. <laughs> Next, we have the Republican Party of Sheboygan County. The Republican Party of Sheboygan County wishes everyone a happy and safe Independence Day celebration. And as we go through the parade, we'll have uh, Republicans and Democrats representative, represented. But remember, Independence Day is really a nonpartisan, you know, event that our country celebrates our independence, obviously. Which was signed on July 2nd, but we celebrate on the 4th. <laughs> Oh, here's one. You'll like this. Did you know that America isn't the only country that celebrates the 4th of July? And do you know what the other country is? Puerto Rico? Denmark. Really? Parties hard on the 4th of July, Chris. They celebrate it since uh, thousands of Danes immigrated to the U.S. in 1912, so they wow. really embraced our country in that respect. Okay, that's the numbers one, two, and three. We got five left <laughs> on our list. Long Republican line, a lot of uh, oh yeah, people in their uh, portion of the parade. I think the Democrats come up in the. Uh, 40, so they'll have their representation as well. So. Okay, I got a question for you, another parade question. If we had a Democratic president, would the Democrats be first in a parade? That's a good question. I don't know. That's a, that's a good question. I'm uncertain. I don't, well, I hope they don't think about it that hard. <laughs> <laughs> like Maybe you said, it should be a, you know, a, not an independent day. Day. Just uh, Independence Day. We're all celebrating. Coming up the street now, Marty, is the the Hmong Mutual Assistance Association. The traditional Hmong dancers are wearing clothing and styles very indicative of the different groups of Hmong living in our community. Uh, as they come up, you're going to see a variety of colors here. The most common colors are white and then the green. The Hmong and their styles range from traditional to contemporary, and the Hmong community is always a crowd favorite here at the parade. I think you get an opportunity to see this. I know I have when I was teaching full-time, and even now as I substitute teach, is the uh, Hmong community comes into the schools at certain points during the year and provides their, or performs their traditional dances, and. Uh, shows off their traditional uh, garb, and uh, it's quite impressive. Yep. They've certainly been an asset to our community. Yep, I know the Hispanic community does the same, and it's nice that uh, the diversity is shared. Yeah, great. Amongst, uh, great point.
there, you get a chance to see some of the traditional dance that they uh, perform. the truck he's a helper over at Sheridan School and you can see more of the traditional dance in the trailer of this uh, black truck on this black truck Among Mutual Assistance Association is Pink Heels, Sheboygan County. They are a nonprofit organization spreading love and support to families battling illness that is affecting the family structure. Uh, we can help through financial aid or home visits with our pink fire truck. Find us on Facebook for more information. And I remember them, Chris, they were at uh, Wildwood Baseball Park a couple summers ago promoting their uh, program. And I actually had a chance to sign the front of the truck because my uh, dad had died of cancer. And then we were also over at uh, Jefferson a couple of years ago, uh, one of the days I was subbing. So great organization. All right, I'll take the next group here. Oh. And that is the Sheboygan Falls Varsity Dance Team, which wishes everyone a safe and happy Independence Day. The Purple Birds, as Larry Brahan always used to call them when he was coaching out there. <laughs> the Purple Birds. Yep, the Falcons. So when I was at Chilton, we played uh, Falls one week. I think it was football season. And in one of the s displays at Chilton High School, they had down uh, knocked the Falcon out of Sheboygan Falls. <laughs> they, they made him take it down. I don't know. <laughs> the fairest of the fair is here, Marty. So yeah. I, so good. You could take that one. Next yeah, I'll take the that one. Bird. It's nice that Falls came out today. Yeah, I don't remember very them nice. being here before. No, you're right, I don't either. It's nice that they got in. It's nice that the kids are willing to give up part of their 4th of July to come down and uh, help us celebrate. Next up is the Sheboygan, 2019 Sheboygan County Ferris of the Fair. And this year it is Sarah DeHeck. Join us at the Plymouth Fairgrounds for the Sheboygan County Fair. It's uh, August 29th through September 2nd. There's Sarah. Congratulations to her. Greg had mentioned that he got her name, and he said, yeah, she was in the parade last year, but we didn't know who it was. And so he oh. checked it out, make sure he knew, and gave us the name, but it was in the dialogue this time. That's good. And now coming up, one of my favorites is the Sheboygan Dog Training Club, which was basically established in 1952 with a focus on teaching owners how to, to take care of their dogs and to live with them. With two heated training buildings and two outdoor fencing areas, the club is open year-round, operated by its members. They offer classes for the public nearly every day of the week. 
mixed breed or purebred, all dogs are welcome to come to the Sheboygan Dog Training Club. Do you have a pet? Well, Colleen has pets. We have dog, cat, guinea pigs, fish. The answer, I guess, would be yes. So, uh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Next, we have the U.S. Coast Guard Auxiliary Flotilla 47-4, Station of Sheboygan, wishes everyone a safe and happy Independence Day. Uh, given our situation on the lake, Coast Guard provides a very important service for us. Ballworth Division training ship Abagon and nonprofit na naval youth groups. We teach young women and men ages 10 to 17 the three core values of Sea Cadet organizations, honor, courage, and commitment. Here you can see them as they pass by us here. Another great organization, especially given our situation on the lake. Thanks for the soda, Marty. You're welcome. Thank my wife. She oh. put it all together. Next, we have Horizon for Girls. Students are promoting their oh. efforts oh, to yeah. stop bullying. They will sponsor, along with much community support, a 5K as part of their Come Together event at Fountain Park, September 14th. Remember that date, September 14th. Stop and see them at the Rotary Riverview Park for face painting so you can get your uh, face painted and then get your double brush. Yeah, and here's a cutie following up. They have the Acuity Health Challenge. It's a locally 5K two mile runner walk. Are you listening, Dominic? This event hosts a unique <laughs> vendor village on site. 100% of this year's proceeds are being donated to benefit Sheboygan behavioral health and wellness. Another uh, company here in Sheboygan that uh, really promotes the community and uh, it's been a godsend for Sheboygan and Sheboygan area. Triple I Shrine Animal Unit coming up. The Triple I Animal Unit is based out of Milwaukee. Uh, we march in character costumes to provide stronger legs for children at our Shriners Hospitals. They've been here a number of years, too. Yes, they have. SpongeBob SquarePants. Of course, the, Sh the Shriners still have their uh, football game with the Packers, right, preseason? Oh, yeah. Every year. She biking is a 15-person pedal tavern that tours Sheboygan and is a great option to celebrate birthdays, anniversaries, bachelor, bachelorette parties, and any other reason you just want to get on a bike and uh, have some liquid. <laughs> I've seen that around town. I've never seen that around town. Really? Chris. I have. I guess it depends on the neighborhoods you're in. <laughs> Tilly's pit crew. Tilly pit crew coming up. Our mission is aiming is aimed at reducing population of pit do, pit bull dogs in Sheboygan County, while offering owner support and network with local rescues and shelters to secure a safe future for these dogs. In three years, we have provided over 350 free resources for pit bulls and their families. Wow, oh, I didn't know something like that even existed. <laughs> Parade's going to the dogs, Marty. Yeah, right. And here comes Discovery Coach Trolley. All aboard for a fun time on the Discovery Trolley. Our 28 passenger vintage trolleys are ideal for weddings, corporate events local transfers and more. David Priggy? Yeah. 
And uh, Discovery Coach also has 16, 30, 48, 56 passenger coaches for all your transportation needs. Family owned business since 1949. <laughs> Jerry and Phil Bittner. Oh yeah. <laughs> Jason. <laughs> Unfortunately, we just saw all those people, Chris. Uh, the Bittner mother, Grandma Joyce, uh, passed away a few days ago, and we were at her funeral. But the uh, family seems to be recovering, doing well. Next, we have Orange Cross Ambulance. Orange Cross Ambulance Service, paramedic and critical care provide uh, services, and they've been proudly serving the citizens of Sheboygan County since 1979. And right behind them comes the town of Wilson first responders. The town of Wilson's first responding unit is an incident response team, responds to all local, local and regional uh, emergencies, supporting everyone here in our community in a time of crisis. Let's go to one of these. You'll like this one too, Chris. We basically devour all of our favorite foods on the 4th. Listen to this. 155 million hot dogs. Wow. $107 million spent on popsicles. Can you imagine that? I can't. I'm not that much of a popsicle guy. Me either. 167 million spent on watermelon? <laughs> oh well. Plus, Independence Day is the biggest holiday for what sales? It's a beverage. Beer, really? You got it. <laughs> I was going to say, not water? No, not water. Uh, United One Credit Union, we are here basically. We're here because you're here. It's in, that's the United One Credit Union's message. And they're here today with a patriotic group of employees, family, and friends that include Aero Transmission. So, kind of combining two in one. Oh, you gotta like that guy's shirt. Go Cubs. Been a tough couple of weeks watching the Brewers and so the Cubs. So they brought in Kimbrell <laughs> at the end of that game. They lost 18 to five. He gave up three more runs in his one inning. Last night they brought him in with a one run lead. He lost it. Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. They spent a lot of money on that guy too. Yep. But who's complaining? The not horses. Me. My, helps my <laughs> Brewers, even though they're not helping themselves. But uh, anyways, let's get back to the parade. The Sheboygan Lakers. Figure Skating Club promotes the sport of figure skating. Learn to skate lessons are offered Monday evenings from September to March. September to March on Mondays, you can learn to skate. Skaters begin at the age of three all the way up to adults, which are all encouraged to participate. We also have a theater on ice team and two competitive synchronized skating teams as well. So come fall, Grab your skates and head to the blue line. Hit the hit the ice. When I was a kid, they used to have around the city various ice skating rinks that the city would yep. come and flood them, you know, and you could and they had shelters where you could go in when it got too cold and you know it's all none of that's available anymore. Now you have to get to the blue line. That was something, you know. No kidding. By my, what I understand is like, you talk about, there's adults that talk about that. You remember when? That was something they remember is skating in parks. I remember my right arm around Ann Reinbold skating. <laughs> <laughs> Over at Grant. And it would be at, at night too, right? You oh yeah, get, right. And they had, had little shelters. Headlights and I was really good at skating forward. I could not skate backwards. I never learned that skill. Okay, you can hear them coming down the street. Oh yeah, another uh, municipal band. 
Yeah. They've been in this parade forever. It I was seems just going like. to say that. The Keel Municipal Band members range in age from 15 to 88 years old and are all volunteers. A few members are over six, have over 60 years of service and many others have 30 years or more. Please join the band tonight for the annual 4th of July Sousa concert at Kohler Ravine Park. You know, at one time, bands were very oh, prevalent. I think we talked about that yeah. a little bit during the parade last year. Is, uh, there were hardly any bands. Yeah. A very traditional thing for cities to have a band, and there's very few. One thing few. we haven't done the last couple of years is the Memorial Day Parade, but there's a parade where you get north in there and south in there, and, of course, Kiel, I think, comes for that one, too. So at least you'd have three. But... Uh, Fourth of July, this might be our only ban. for your service. Here comes another mainstay at the parade, Diane Remy School of Dance and Baton, which was founded almost 60 years ago. Founded in 1960, teaching classic, classical ballet, tap, jazz, Spanish dance, basic ballroom, and all forms of baton twirling. Again, another very traditional thing for our parade. Like she, you said, she's been around for an awfully long time. Oh, yeah. A lot of kids have gone through her school. Next we have RCS Empowers. RCS is proud to present their next play for 2020, Shrek. Happy Independence Day from RCS. And they are of course located on the Healy Avenue. See Sean in there? Sean sometimes comes down to Salvation Army and helps uh, Judy Strauss and the crew serve the Amanis meal. Judy Strauss was at Pickleball the, uh, yesterday. Well, I'm never going to Pickleball <laughs> again. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, <laughs> Judy. Was she any good? I didn't get to play with her though. There's a red, white, and blue Corvette for you. That's a dandy. It looks like it goes really fast. <laughs> Not right now, though, please. <laughs> yeah, really. And following them comes the U.S. Bank. U.S. Bank located right up the street here. Uh, it employs family and friends in Sheboygan, Manitowoc, and Appleton. Accompanied by Ron and Mary Christensen and all their beautiful horses. We've seen them before, too. Well, it's carriage rides. That's out on, uh, off Superior in about 70th Street or so. Okay, I didn't even know that, Chris. Yeah, range, maybe it's range line they're on. That's that near out, out near where you live, sort Yipper. of, right? Yipper. <laughs> Good job, Greg. A little dabbing will do ya. I think this is the... Uh, I'm going to take this one, Marty. I think this is the Legion Post here, Marty. That's what it looks like. Yep. They're represented by American Post 83, located down by Wildwood. Nice to see them walking. Thank you. 
they've been providing that sponsorship for uh, the baseball program for, gosh, it's got to be close to 60 years, if yeah. not longer. Now, I'm not sure if it's the same group. Pes Prescott Baines does the uh, Legion team, and uh, in partnership, uh, it used to be with the Recreation Department. I know they have their uh, Friday night fish fry there. Still attend that at uh, post 83 as Net, well. Yeah. Here's a great case where the... <laughs> Next we have the uh, Sheboygan County elected officials. Sheboygan County elected officials are proud to be part of the 4th of July parade and wish all of us a happy 4th and safe for that matter. Coming up next is the uh, Sheboygan Theater Group. Sheboygan Theater comes today preparing for its 86th season. We start our season today with live entertainment at one o'clock at Fountain Park. So again, another one of those activities this afternoon that you can participate in. This one's at Fountain Park. Don't tell me there's nothing to do on the 4th of July in Sheboygan. Well, if, if, if don't you, tell me there's nothing to do in Sheboygan, period. Right. There's always things to do. Clark Kirst in the middle. Clark works over at Jefferson. EA does a great job with the kids. He's been there forever. Oh, I think I just took yours, Marty. Sorry about that. So I get to do another one. What, <laughs> what did you do? I did the odd. <laughs> oh, so I'll do, do the, the JVs. Oh, the, I mean the JCs. <laughs> I can do the JCs and their brat days. We mentioned that before. August 2nd and 3rd. Uh, come down to the Dominion of Terror as well for 45 years of haunting. Giving back to our community one scare at a time. But again, brat days coming up. First weekend in August. A very traditional event uh, that takes place at Kiwanis Park, correct? Yes, sir. By the way, your comment about the parade going to the dogs, we have more dogs in front of us again. <laughs> Part of the JCs. Uh, anyway, I think it was two nights ago, a bunch of buddies of mine went to a Timber Rattlers game and it was dog night. They had 175 dogs at the game. Wow. I know. That was pretty impressive and they had a big dog race in the outfield. <laughs> the best part about the dog race out in the outfield they didn't need a cleanup crew. <laughs> Probably a lot of sniffing going on there. Oh, no kidding. Got a slight delay in the parade here, Marty. Legend Larry's uh, prominently displayed on that sign right behind the uh, Brate's truck. That part of the youth yep, football? Absolutely. Uh, we'll read that as long as we're waiting. Sheboygan Youth Football. It was founded in 1987 after the middle schools dropped sports for the school. The founders saw a need for football fundamentals before high school. Sheboygan Youth Football teaches fifth through eighth grade boys and girls the basics of football and cheerleading. Another great organization allowing kids to uh, be involved. Well, Coach Cullough, I believe, is the start of that, right? Did he? Oh, uh, yeah, I think he was all part of that initial uh, and I know organization. He fundraises big time for it. And is that coach on the top? It is. There's Coach Cullough, longtime teacher at Grant. Maybe some of you have had him as a Phi Ed teacher. And there you see the sign. Wanted tackle football players entering fifth through eighth grade. <laughs> There's coach. There's some former players as well. That's yeah. nice to see that. 
They got some big kids out there, holy cow. Yeah. Just a month away and they'll be starting practice. And I'm not kidding about that, that's a fact. Is that Bob Mayer out there? Yep. Right behind him comes the Warp Dance Company. It's a collective of airless and professional dancers who work collaboratively to create and present innovative works through artistic performances. We are located currently in Sheboygan Falls and offer classes in aerial and dance and fitness. The Aerial Dance Company, Marty. Holy cow. Some pretty small kids there at the end, too. Yep. Great activity. Increase your uh, flexibility. Next, we have the Supernova Circus Arts. It was started in 2014 by Sarah Wolfel. She teaches hoop dance classes at Warped Dance Studios and is also a fire performer with Lakeside Luminaries. Can you do the hula hoop, Chris? Uh, okay, yeah. I, I, I can do it on my it. neck and I can do it on my arms, but I can't make it go on my waist. Oh, really? Look at this. Coming in the spring of 2020, Johnsonville providing a new marketplace. Holy cow, look at that. Coming on Highway J. From Charlie both. Murphy serving Johnsonville brats to that, Marty. Holy cow. <laughs> Happy Independence Day from Johnsonville, proudly independent, family-owned employer from, with more than 1,800 American workers. They've been making famous sausage right here in Sheboygan County since 1945. As you celebrate America this year, remember, you can't spell sausage without USA. All right, then. That's true. Desso used to say you can't spell Duke without the UK. <laughs> <laughs> and also we have the Johnsonville sausages here, the ones you see right at the ballpark. They've come to Sheboygan. Hey, they were at an A's game. I mean, they're picking Johnsonville sausages, the sausage races. You know, when I go to the games, I always take the same one. So I, you know, I'm hoping that that one wins. I figure one out of five chances. Next, we have Sheboygan County Democratic Party wishing all of us a happy Independence Day. Oh, more sausages, Chris. Yeah, they're right, the, they're right uh, with the uh, Democrats. The <laughs> <laughs> I have the hot dog bobblehead at home. <laughs> By the way, if you want, you can have my Travis Shaw Mayor of Ding Dong City <laughs> bobblehead if you want it too. <laughs> For you non-baseball fans, <laughs> Travis Shaw got sent down to the minors. Yeah. But he'll be back. Ooh, hold on to your seats, fans. Chris is going to talk about. There you go. Yeah, there's Ralph and Dave. This is the Sheboygan County Pickle Club, which is active seniors who live to stay fit, playing their great sport. They have courts throughout Sheboygan County. Check their website out for details. There's Tom Reamer. There's Bruce. Jerry. Candy's walking. A lot of the players we play with. There's Larry right here. Right, there's Bruce Patson and Larry. Rochester Park, nine to 12 in the morning. Go and play some pickleball or uh, six to eight, I believe on Tuesday and Thursday, Rochester Park. If you want to meet Chris, be there. Town of Sheboygan Volunteer Fire Department presents the fire trucks that serve and protect the town of Sheboygan residents and the surrounding area. Again, providing a very needed service for our uh, community and county. And we're just now halfway through the parade, Marty. All righty. Time flies when you're having fun. It's, it's going to be a long one today. That was 43 of 86, ladies and gentlemen. Actually, I hate to bust your bubble, but we only have 85. I was wrong. Oh, well. Oh. Uh, one of them dropped out. Okay. I hope it's... Oh, it's an even, too, so that means you'll have to do a double, but that's okay. <laughs> do I get paid overtime? No, but I'll take a... I a did the opening, too. I mean, I should get more than you. <laughs> I'll take a soda break at that time. That you I provided. thought this was a soda break. <laughs> 
right behind the uh, Town of Sheboygan Volunteer Fire Departments come Woodlake Market. Woodlake Market is a full service grocery store with one of the area's most extensive selection of organic, locally grown products, cheeses, seafood, liquors, wines, and beer. Stop out to Kohler to Woodlake Market. Years ago, I'd go out there pretty regularly because Pat was their baker. She was awesome. They had the best crawlers in the <laughs> county. And then Pat retired. But uh, their bakery is very good too. Speaking from experience. Next we have Friends of Peace Park Sheboygan. This unit includes a miniature peace pole. The real peace pole is located at the corner of 3rd Street and Michigan Avenue on that little triangle that's there right before you hit the lake. Uh, it bears the message, may peace prevail on earth in 16 languages. The groups are singing peace songs as they make their way along the route. And I believe right behind them comes the Sheboygan African Drum and Dance Community, connecting people and bringing a healthy community through African drumming, dancing, and culture. Hey, that, that's pretty cool. Is that Malalia on the sign there, on top of the truck? I am Malala. After the Sheboygan African Drum and Dance Community, we have the uh, Faith-Based Education. Our float is designed to showcase the schools that are a part of Faith-Based Education. We are hoping to promote the many school options that have faith as a central part of their teaching. But I think before we get into that, we should enjoy the music. This isn't on our list, Chris, you can take it. Looks like the uh, Raising Grannies of Sheboygan here. Following the uh, faith-based community comes Bethlehem Lutheran, Bethlehem Lutheran Church and School, which is everyone a blessed Independence Day. They're well represented here today. First you see the faith-based right here, followed by Bethlehem Lutheran right behind them. Good transition, Chris. <laughs> The grannies were not on our list. I think we'll probably run into them further down the line. There you see uh, Bethlehem Lutheran. That's where my wife went to school in church. Very well represented. Yes. It's nice to see. Bucky Badger out there. There you see him at the bottom of your screen. <laughs> Bethlehem Badger, I guess. Would be yeah, right, yeah, Bethlehem Badger.
Next we have the color guard from VFW Post 9156. Color guard is represented today by VFW Post 9156. And again, uh, good organization to have in the community for all the veterans that have uh, served our country so uh, gracefully and loyally. Including you, Marty? Navy man. And right behind the VFW Post 9156 comes the Sheboygan North Dance Team. Sheboygan North Dance Program is an award-winning program. Both the varsity and JV are the current WACPC State Hip Hop Champs. The varsity is coached by Kayla Pintner and the JV coached by Vicki Routman. Here are your Lady Raider Dance Team. They put in a lot of time, Chris, with practicing. I remember uh, talking to some of the girls, and uh, you know, you talk about basketball has all these hours of practice and football. They don't have to take a backdoor to anyone in terms of uh, oh, preparation. My, yeah. And they do the fitness training like all the other sports too. They're asked to come to that as well. I mean, it's, it's quite impressive. Yep. Multifaceted. Next, we have the Sheboygan North Cheer and Stunt Team. Sheboygan North Cheer and Stunt Team works all summer to prepare for sporting at Raider Athletics. Uh, getting ready, of course, for the 2019 20 school year. And they're going to be at the events for the team. Go Raiders! We're kind of in preparation for that too, aren't we? We're in training. <laughs> I mean, this is our preseason right here, is That's parade. Right. <clears throat> Got their tie dye shirts on today. Looking quite festive. Up next, we have Sheboygan's very own hometown radio stations, 1330 AM and 105 FM WHBL. Sheboygan's rock stations, 101.65, The Buzz, 104.5961, Sheboygan's Point, and Sheboygan County B93 with Jonathan Hensler. If you can't remember all those numbers, look at your screen <laughs> and check out the trucks. Yep. Uh, they'd like to thank every, uh, all the amazing listeners for Sheboygan to continue listening to their radio stations here in Sheboygan County. And I do listen to Jonathan Hensler on, uh, not, on Sheboygan Country 93 in the mornings I'm going to school. He's quite an entertainer. <laughs> oh, my gosh. He gives all the birthdays and gives facts. And We sit to see him on a semi-regular basis yes. during the sports season. He does uh, mostly high school basketball during... Uh, course of the basketball season we'll see him then oh, 
You know, I've been you've been doing this TV gig for 20 years now. I've been doing it for 25. I think this is starting my 26th year. But anyway, I get these people. They come. Hey, Marty, how's it going? You still doing that radio gig? <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's 25 years of TV, man. <laughs> That's, does that mean you got a, a voice for radio but not a face for TV? <laughs> correct. <laughs> That's absolutely correct. Next we have the VFW, <laughs> pardon me, VW Club of Sheboygan. The Volkswagen Club of Sheboygan celebrates our country's independence with decorated Beatles, buses, convertibles, and new Volkswagens. I know, I know. <laughs> I get the next one. <laughs> Another By the way, I got a question for you again on re parade etiquette or protocol. How come North gets to go before South in the parade? I'm not complaining. I'm just asking. What determines that? I don't know. <laughs> Do you know anything? I don't know any of those protocols. Another traditional uh, group here at the... Uh, Parade is this Volkswagen group. They are quite buggy. Yeah, for sure. I always like this band, oh, Marty. Oh, yeah, this is really cool. I think Colleen would like to uh, spend time in there. Not with me, but I think she would <laughs> enjoy <laughs> traveling the country that way. I don't think you'd make good time in that vehicle. <laughs> That looks like about uh, a 40 miles an hour. Yeah. Maxing out. Oh, Chris. You uh -oh. sailing. Oh, we Did got a, we do have a group here. We have a youth sailing group. You can take them <laughs> since they don't have any dialogue. Yeah. By the way, they do at the youth sailing group. They do have a new building, a storage facility on uh, Superior Avenue, out by uh, Valrath Company. I know they provide lessons and things well as well. I know Steve Van Vagel worked with them for a number of years, teaching and instructing. It doesn't look like they're on the list, Chris, but nope. uh, since they're in the parade, we'll talk about them. Yep. You know, again, I think it's uh, another great organization for our community. Here we go. Sheboygan South High School dance team. Award-winning Sheboygan South High varsity dance team is coached by Alexis Campia, and uh, I would say between north and south when all this uh, dance business got started, south was uh, really well represented, represented, and they, they kind of started the boom yep. in Sheboygan. And, uh, Their uh, Banner State 7 championships, state championships, and both schools are very well represented and do a great job in our state. And there you get uh, an example of their uh, expertise. <laughs> nice job by those girls. Some of them are huffing and puffing. Ladies, oh, yeah. you have a lot more routines ahead of you. All right, you only got two blocks in a <laughs> three-mile course. Following the dance team, up comes the John Michael Kohler Arts Center, which is located basically just to our left here, just to the east, blending the art, car tradition, and the commercial food truck. This connecting communities collaboration of the John Michael Kohler Arts Center explores the Eat Local movement. Look for the Art Cafe car during your summer events around town. And again, some place you can go on a Thursday night. We have nothing to do in Sheboygan. Baloney, <laughs> yeah, really? come over to the park right next to us here, uh, over here on the 7th Street. And uh, the food trucks come there, and they have entertainment free, free. It's part uh, of that Levitt uh, music series, I believe. Great thing that the... Uh, John Michael Kohler Art Center provides. 
chorus here in Sheboygan. Pretty nifty truck there. Next on our list is the theater for young audiences. I'm not sure if this is it, Chris. Well, I think it's a combination. Uh, I don't see the young audiences, but Sheboygan Chevrolet is represented here right now. Uh, Sheboygan Chevrolet and Chrysler has been your hometown dealer for over 27 years with eight brands with over 800 vehicles in stock. They are certain to have a vehicle for you. And there is the Jeep truck. There's Colleen's truck that she <laughs> wants us to purchase. Uh, we went to the lot, Marty, and she jumped on it and hugged it. I don't know if that's a good thing <laughs> seen on the camera. She wants it, that's for sure. Well, I, we don't see the theater for young audiences. We're going to jump down to Crossroads Community Church. Crossroads Community Church is promoting their free children's outreach event. Wisen up July 22nd to 25th from 6.15 to 8.30 p.m. at Christian High. The event is open to children going into first through sixth grade. Sign up on the website www.crossroadssheboygan.org. Walk-ups welcome. Come rain or shine. Crossroads Community Church meets Sundays at Lake County Academy. Another well-represented group. Can I just go back to that theater for young audiences? Please Maybe do. they were part of that uh, John Michael Kohler Art Center. The TYA is celebrating their 30th year in 2019. Uh, we are delighted to bring live theater to all ages and are thrilled to be part of this parade this year. And again, uh, the theater for young audience is another great opportunity for, kid, for kids to get involved in the fine arts. And here comes the Girl Scouts of Manitou Count Council. They're here today showcasing Girl Scouts uh, Go-getters, innovators, risk-takers, and leaders. G-I-R-L for girl, showing that girls can be all those things through the sisterhood of the Girl Scout. Register today for your Girl Scouts. Ooh, there you see the yellow bus behind the kids. I don't see that. I see the cookies, Marty. <laughs> Now we're going to get those kids at this table. The heck with the judges. <laughs> there you see a box of Thin Mints. Not that I would know they're Thin Mints because they're in a green box or anything, Marty. <laughs> but that's what they come in that got color. That, got that memorized. <laughs> Next we have Bookworm Gardens. Check out the magic school bus from Bookworm Gardens. This year's Sheboygan's very own Botanic Garden will travel to Washington, D.C. for a special exhibit at the U.S. Botanic Garden. Bookworm's mission is to enrich the mind, body, and spirit of young and young at heart. That'd be you and me. Uh, through exploration in a garden environment based on children's literature. It's really awesome, Chris. The Magic School Bus. Yeah, and of course, Bookwood, uh, Bookworm Garden is located out by the center out there. You can visit out there and uh, go up. Instead of driving in the parking lot for a Lutheran High, just follow the road up to the top, and when you get to the stop sign, it's on your left. Yep. Following them comes Bethel Baptist. Bethel Baptist has been located in Sheboygan for over 125 years and committed committed to exalting and celebrating and taking Christ to those around us. We welcome Bethel Church to the parade. I think it's time for another one of these, Chris. We're getting to the end of the parade. You know that the Macy's fireworks is the biggest in the country. This year, New York City has competition for the biggest fireworks display. Do you know what city that Philadelphia? is? Philadelphia? Uh, uh, Nashville, Tennessee. Really? Yeah. 
They're trying to beat them. I'm not sure if it's going to be longer, more fireworks, or more money spent. I actually heard there's a shortage of fireworks in our country. Really? Really. <laughs> I did. It's a lot of hot-headed people yeah. out there. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we have Pentecostals of Sheboygan County. We celebrate freedom today because of past sacrifices. Isn't that true? Wishing you all a safe and happy 4th of July. See, they all got their cup blue on. I thought it was a Brewer Friday blue. Here comes the uh, Salvation Army, Marty, bringing in 4th of July this year and asking you to ride for a reason. Join riders for all ages this Saturday, July 6th, for this family-friendly event. Five beautiful routes to choose from, ranging from 10 miles to 100 miles. Register at the salvationride.org. So this Saturday, the, uh, the ride for a reason, salvationride.org. Next we have Gaming Generation. Cosplaying gamers from a local store that love having fun and making people smile. I believe that store is on uh, North 8th Street, around uh, 8th and Lincoln. Followed by the Sheboygan Pops. The Sheboygan Pops was founded in 1989 to promote band music in the area. The band performs winter and spring concerts in addition to the summer concerts in Fountain Park. All concerts are free. All concerts are free. Would this so. be our uh, second band then, even yep. though they're not marching? Yep, 30, uh, 30 years of the Sheboygan Pops, Marty. Next we have St. Cyril's and St. Cyr Saint Cyril and Methodius Picnic Committee. This is a 1926 Model T Ford restored and driven by Jack Leonard. The banners are for the Saints Cyril and Methodius Slovenian Fest at the Land Park this Sunday, July 7th. I always go down there for that as well. All right, great food and fellowship, just like the uh, Greek picnic was this past weekend. Oh yeah, I was there too. We got our food on, I think it was Saturday, went down, got our food, but this time instead of eating by the lake, we took it home. Good decision, because it <laughs> rained right after that. I was there Friday. Menard Orthodontics, let freedom ring in 2019, creating beautiful smiles at Menard Orthodontics, Sheboygan, Plymouth and beyond. Happy 4th of July to all. Next we have Iglesia El Cavario. Proudly promoting our church and our summer Bible school in 2019, as well as the gospel of Jesus. Amen. Iglesia El Cavario. A very well represented group of them coming up here, Marty. Oh, you're right. Nice. You know, they're all smiling as they go by, Chris. I wonder what they're like at the end of the road. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is you. Yep. Uh, coming up. Well, I think this is, this is a dare to dream one, Marty. I'm not sure which group. This maybe is. it's, maybe yeah. it's, well. Okay. Take all of them. I'm putting <laughs> my sheet away. <laughs> I think that's the palm, so we're gonna. 
I'm not sure which group this is. As we look through our list, Dare to Dream does not seem to be on it, so we don't have any dialogue to give you. We're getting near the end, Chris. We're in the 70s of 80-something. Yeah. Yep, it's picked up in momentum, I guess you could say. Well, that pride and hospitality, all they had to say was happy 4th of July, basically. Yeah, I don't, yeah. Which I is good. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. I would say it's pride hospitality. Yeah. But anyway, coming up after them is Parms Tree Service. Parms Tree Service is showcasing their tree service arborists, arborists performing live cutting on the float. Well, we'll see if they do that in front of the judges and us here. Really? Hope they don't get sawdust in our equipment. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Wow. I guess you could say they're a cut above the rest. Oh, uh, come <laughs> on, Chris. I'm feeling your stuff now. <laughs> See, I must be getting older. <laughs> I do know that his saw works better than my electric saw. <laughs> Paul uh, Van Horn Automotive. Since 1966, Van Horn Automotive Group has remained Wisconsin's premier family-owned and operated auto group. We proudly sell new, used, and certified pre-owned vehicles for every budget and style. There's another nice Jeep. Yeah, that one's pretty sharp. You'd look good in that white one, that Rubicon. Yeah. With the big wheel in the back. All right. You know, if I had that vehicle and I got a flat tire, I'd still have to call AAA. I couldn't handle that <laughs> big wheel. Next, we have Blue Harbor. Blue Harbor Resort is presenting a mini flow rider, which can be found at Breakers Bay Water Park. Learn to surf at the resort or just enjoy the environment. Pool deck access is included with your purchase of a day pass for the water park. That's a good deal. I'll have to admit, I've never never surfed before, Marty. Me either. Well, now it's time for you to learn. <laughs> Get your shoulder picks first. It's first. not on my bucket list. <laughs> Lakeland University is a proud to display their talented drumline during the 4th of July. Thank you to our talented students and professors for making this possible. Lakeland University, Sheboygan County's very own. Next we have Dolsky's Raw Dog. Dosky's Raw Dog is a pet food store specializing in raw foods and treats and natural foods. Drosky supports both the city's and the sheriff's canine unit. That's interesting. Yeah, they're located, I believe, on Calumet on the north side. And here comes the town of Wilson's fire department. In January of 2017, the town of Wilson Black River Fire Department went through a change and officially became a municipal fire department and assumed the name Town of Wilson Fire Department. That's a reorganization there. Next up, is Meyer Motors. Meyer Motors Incorporated is a third generation family owned and operated GMC and Buick dealership. Visit us at www.gomeyermotors.com for more information. Now you presently have a Buick. Yep. I presently have a Buick and you're looking at a Chevy now. No, nope, Or Kalina's. No. Wow, she's a Jeep person. I have the responsible vehicle. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> she, has, she has a hero. That's not what her dad said. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Johns has been handling 
handing out samples today and wishes everyone a safe and happy independence. Freaky fast, freaky good. Jimmy John's. They have a variety of locations here in Sheboygan. Oh, they are throwing out. I want one of those. Lunch. Jeez. Hey, we got to we gotta go through another one of my uh, things here, Chris. Did you know that there is an official 4th of July city? Seriously. In 1979, an act of Congress dubbed Seward, Nebraska, America's official 4th of July city. Wow. Why Nebraska? Really? Alliant Energy. Alliant Energy wishes everybody a safe and happy Independence Day, and boy, don't we depend on them. As long as we have a short break. In Bristol, Rhode Island, they literally paint the town red, white, and blue. So instead of having those yellow lines in front of yep. or down the street, it's red, white, and blue. Wow. Yeah. I know it's a little lame, but still it's kind of impressive, I guess. Oh, I would think. Another tradition of the uh, oh, yeah. parade is the YMCA Gymnastics Squad, the Sheboygan County YMCA Springers, founded way back in 1985. This team now is comprised of over 100 gymnasts, 100 gymnasts aging from four to 18, competing at 19 separate levels. State champions since, they've been state champions since 18, 1989, and competed in the YMC National Gymnastics Conference ever since in 1992. And let's watch these Springers. This is Nugent is one of their oh, yeah. coaches. There she is right there in the red. Yeah. They're them. all in red. Oh, she's <laughs> located in the blue shoes to your left coming on the screen there. Denise. Ooh, that was nice. Whoa, look at that. Very nice. Outstanding job, Denise, with your group. You know, sitting here watching, Chris, my back is beginning to hurt. Walmart online grocery pickup. Walmart free online grocery pickup wishes everyone a happy Independence Day. Do you take advantage of that uh, service, Chris? Sure. Seriously? No, I do not do the, <laughs> the grocery pickup line. I, you know I what, go to in order to do that, you'd actually have to pick up the phone and call <laughs> or go online. Go online. You'd have to do something first. <laughs> Following them comes Perfect Surface Inc. They will be demonstrating, explaining their soft wash methods for you. So go to Perfect Surface Inc. So that's a car wash? Must be. Boy, being on that big truck, they could come and do your house. Yep. Another tradition of the parade coming up, Marty. Oh, uh, exterior cleaning, roof, siding, concrete, and more. Doesn't say any about cleaning your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Another tradition, Marty. Oh, Jaeger Clowns. They're a regular in this parade, yep. too. They've always been here, it seems like. Jaeger Clowns are another parade favorite. This is Barbara Jaeger's 62nd appearance in the Sheboygan Independence Day Parade. That's impressive. Look at that. There she is. We clown around, but we don't quite get to it to that extent. Oh, I get Santana's no, Lino? they're not here. Oh, they got to be. So go ahead. Santana's Lino nope, is a... The next oh, one. okay, all right, all right. <laughs> Road Legal 4WD Association. Road Legal 4WD Association is the largest 4x4 nonprofit in Wisconsin. They've opened up three parks and mapped all the public trails in southeast Wisconsin. Trails can be viewed at rl4wd.com. 
weekly rides, classes, and workshops are being done to increase sustainable trails and tourism in Wisconsin. And that would be all your four, oh, by the way, WD means four wheel drive, right? Four, WD, Correct. four wheel drive, okay. Wow, they got a lot of vehicles, Chris. Off-roading and on-roading, that would be fun. Nice. Public trails. Okay, I don't know if this is a, the last one on, on, on my list here. By the way, Chris had a list, but he didn't do it. <laughs> but anyway, oh, yeah. number eight and last. And in Tennessee, they stay up late or start early, depending on how you look at it. In the Smoky Mountains, Gatlinburg hosts the Midnight Parade, Chris, which kicks off at exactly 12 a.m. to launch its 4th of the uh, July festivities. They're That's done. interesting, that, yeah. That parade's over. Those people are sleeping yet. They're yeah, sleeping really. in. We had to get Scott up early today. It's that's like, uh, was it in Indiana they have Midnight Madness? Yeah. When uh, college starts their preseason basketball practices and they have midnight practice so they can open up right at the beginning. I'll tell you, this is impressive, all these four-wheel yep. drive vehicles. We could do Santana's limo. Sure, we could do that. It's a even. Yeah, it's a family owned and operated company provide transportation services to our clients from the north and southeastern Wisconsin throughout the county as needed. Everyone deserves to be treated like a star. And then. Uh, uh, I can't remember her name now, but one of the Santana daughters worked for us at the station. Oh, okay. I think she was in Scott Mailoff's uh, class at South and you know, would show up as part of that and then help out. She was nice. I was hoping to see her in a parade, actually. Following, following the road legal four-wheel drive association and this red vehicle, this big truck coming, a semi, I believe is our last group of the day. It's our local drummers love playing drums together as well as playing with a variety of local bands. They call themselves the 12 Drummers Drumming. So we'll see if they'll be drumming as they come by the stand here. I've got a couple of uh, activities that are coming up today. We mentioned about the cardiology, coolest cardiology run and the King of the Beach Volleyball Tournament. And of course the parade, which we're at right now. But uh, from noon until five o'clock at Rotary Riverview Park, Meyer Family Fun Zone is being operated. It includes live music concessions and games for all ages. They also have a music lineup. Hawaiian Joe's Acoustic at 12. 115 is going to be Stuart Bartson Acoustic. At 2.30, they have the Acoustadelics. And then at 3.45, they have Emerson Buggins Acoustic. Sounds like an acoustic show this afternoon having to do with Meyer's Family Fun Zone. Then they have Freedom Fest from 11 to noon at the Land Park. From 11 to, pardon me, from noon until 11 p.m. And they also provide music. Here's your 12 drummers 12 drummers drumming. Doug Ruby up there. Did you count? I only got up to 10. All righty, people, that was the end of our day, end of our parade for the day, and uh, we want to thank you for watching. One more time for the crew, Scott Malup, our director, Greg Zablocki on the uh, ground camera, Eric Wiesman up on the, the deck for my partner, Chris Wright. I'm Mike Martin saying thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you down the road. <laughs>